Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create this interactive product card. We're going to be using a t-shirt e-commerce as an example, but you can apply this to any type of industry. The concept is simple. You have one image as a default, and then when you hover, you can better see the product. In this case, I can see the style of the t-shirt and the whole design. I plan this to be a very short tutorial, so without wasting your time, let's get right into it. Here in Figma, we already have our product card component. I didn't want to waste your time showing you how to create this component because it's very simple. You have a product image and a product description with a price and that's it. Then of course we have the mockup of our t-shirt with a design. But if we go to the prototype, we can see that this is not interactive. And now we're going to work on this product image to make it have a hover state. So coming back here to our designs, we select the image first and then press option to have a copy of it. Then we want to draw this mockup on top of our image. And since we don't want this hover state to mess around with the size of our component, we want this t-shirt to fit inside our this background box. So let's adjust the size, maybe like this and also we want this to have a slide in effect so we want to attach the bottom of the image to the bottom of our background and then we're going to center for the hover state so once we have this well position we're going to select these two components right click and frame selection then we can make this a component by using these or pressing option command k and then we change the name to product image now we need a variant for our hover state so i will add variant here and i will change the name to hover and i also want to change the name of this property to something more related to what we want to do so i will call this state so that for the default state we know that we want this to be invisible so we are going to change the path through percentage to zero and then for the hover state, we want to center this image. So we select this and go to center vertically. And now we want to adjust the size of our background image. We select the image here. And then to keep it center, we can use shift option in Mac and adjust the size to something around 260 of width. And then we're going to add a color on top of this image background or a layer. And then the color will depend on probably the brand that you're working on. For me, I'll choose this green and I will change the percentage to maybe 85 to have a clear picture of our product. In this case, the teacher. Now that basically is for the design. So we're going to add some animations. So let's select the first state. Go to prototype, connect this to the second state or to the hover state. We're going to change these to while hovering. We'll keep these to smart animate and 300 milliseconds. And then we're going to select the first state, command C, and replace in our product card component. And now if we go to our prototype, we hover and we have our nice looking interactive product card. I told you this will be very, very short. And if you want to learn more about Figma and if you're looking for these short tutorials, follow me and see you on my next video. Bye bye.